Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Cinema Scumbags commentary here again in October. Child's Play 2. I'm Seth. I'm Nick D. Um, one of the many sequels to the original Child's Play, and in, in my opinion, easily the best sequel. Actually, this is my favorite in the series, but um, Argu- it's, it's, it's a fun Ar- movie. Arguably one of the best horror sequels, maybe. Right. Um, got great memories watching this. It's uh, a yearly tradition for me. Honestly, I'd be good with just watching Child's Play one and two, and you know, moving on from the series. But yeah, as long as you knock those two out, you know, you're pretty good on the Chucky fix. Um, we are at forty forty seconds, or where are you at? On um, forty six seconds in on the Blu-ray. Okay, it's right when the uh, a David Kirshner production pops up on the screen. So whenever you see his name pop up, pause, and we'll count it down. He'll be synced up with us. Uh, again, forty six seconds on the Blu-ray. Ready to go? Yep. All right. Three, two, one, play. Yeah, it's probably been about a year year on this. I think I watched uh, the entire series last uh, last October. It's uh, I don't know. You know, I had good memories of this. Yeah, and I'm I love the original, but like you always say, this one's like I mean, it's right up there with that. Right. You know, as good as like story wise and everything. Yeah, this one is just um, the original is great. But this one I just always thought was like more fun. This is like a fun right. fucking movie. It's just an easy watch. Well, and like for the continuation, if you did see the original, you know, and he's living with like foster families now. Right, right. It's just insane, you know, kind of what happened to his life. And this shit used to scare the fuck out of me. Oh, yeah. Uh, see, like this shit right here, uh, you know, that's the reason the curse of Chucky didn't work at all. Right. Like, it wasn't real. Yeah, not those kind of effects. Like, fuck. It's, a, it's amazing that... um. You know, old school practical practical effects look better than shit that comes out. You know, oh yeah, China. yeah. I always thought this was like this kind of terrifying for like an opening credits right. <laughs> sequence. Jenny a gutter, you know what she's in? Walkabout. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I'm already saying that. Walkabout chick. Ugh. I need to get some of that. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. They need to work on that text, though. Now, see, this shit right here, yeah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty <laughs> bad. This shit right here, I believe, is all shot in, you know, the L.A. area. Okay, it really America. looks, it does look like Chicago, like, yeah. really well. Oh, just fucking disturbing. <laughs> I feel like this was, like, appealing to kids when they were young, though, you know, these movies. At well, least for me. Know, I what, man, I watch this like all the time. It's strange because it fucking creeps me out. But it's like I always watched it. Yeah. Just that desire to be scared. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, like they're standing around an operating table, like with like just going into a symbol. The one. You know, when you watch it as an adult, a fucking killer doll is like whatever. You know, you just fucking kick it as hard as you can. But as a kid, <laughs> yeah, right. Good guy, batteries. Good music in this. Yeah, too, I was gonna like. say very uh, creepy. Yeah, see that factor right there. That's an. Uh... Santa Monica. I don't know where it's at. Santa Monica, maybe? I don't fucking we can know. shoot this right here with the drone. Yeah. Oh, we could definitely do this. <laughs> I don't know if we could get that close. It's so- something's in there, but... Right, I'm sure it's... Get yeah. that shot, just like that. Oh, this guy on the left. He's a great character actor. <laughs> He's in a bunch of random shit. Oh, shit. Random comedies and stuff in the 90s. And, you know, I think I like this one the best because, like, I, I, had so- I saw this, like, I mean probably 20 times before i ever watched the original you know this is the one i always grew up with right and that, that's kind of the way i feel i feel like i always remember this one but when i yeah. was older and went back and watched them the original kind of was right. like damn i don't remember this yeah it's kind of like that was like a newer thing a couple years ago when i watched that for the first time yep they they really need to do a scream factory for this oh yeah same yep. treatment as the original like they're doing so Great cover up. 
Yeah, some joker. <laughs> the tapes were tampered with. Nope, it was Charles Lee Ray. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking label on the door <laughs> prototype lab I mean it's an interesting way for them to continue after he gets burnt to a crisp in the first one. Oh yeah <laughs> oh that's fucking great though Play Pals Toys. <laughs> All the scientists look the same. Like, <laughs> Great death scene with this uh, eye mechanism. Oh, yeah, that's right. The movie, uh, it progresses. Matt, give the kid glass eye. Oh God! Oh nice. Jesus! <laughs> what? Whoa! Shit! It's like dried up blood on his face already. Some sort of shock. Hey. <laughs> right. I gotta say, I always thought this kid was a pretty good uh, child actor. Yeah. Yeah, no, not bad. He's some great uh, reactions. He, he's definitely a little evil fucker in this movie, though. Too bad the career ended after this <laughs> after this movie. Yeah, and the credits and the <laughs> curse yeah. or whatever. Couldn't even make it in the movie. <laughs> yeah, we did that uh, Shining video. Someone commented... He looks a lot like Andy from Child's Play talking about oh, Danny. Shit. I'm like, yeah, he kind of does. Another good child actor. Yeah. God, this shit was terrifying though when I was a kid. No, no, she's pissed me off because like nobody believes it. You know, and you're like, fuck. Yeah. Mom from Seventh Heaven couldn't right. reprise her role. <laughs> she was traumatized after the first one. They patched her storyline up. She's psycho. Whatever. I think we get the badass uh, foster sister. I just love that broad. Oh yeah, she's great. This dude's fucking eraser head hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Stick it up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look who it is. David Gopalode. <laughs> there she is. Didn't recognize her with her clothes on. So weird. I watched it so many times that I never, never would have known that. <laughs> Fuck it's uh, Foster. Dad's a grade A prick. Oh yeah. Fuck this spook. <laughs> He's been in some shit too. I think actually, uh, in the early like Brian De Palma movies, De Niro like starred in most of them. And he was like the second lead in all really? of them. Yeah. Hmm. This bitch is terrifying. <laughs> There's some interesting people in here. Also, the fucking uh, lady from Donnie Darko was the teacher. Oh, yeah. Yep. She always plays a good bitch. Oh, yeah. She's a great bitch in Malcolm in the Middle, too. <laughs> Anytime I've seen her, she's in like a real fucking bitchy role. Series of ritual voodoo killings. He's like, fuck this. Yeah, right. I don't want to spring this spook into my house. I feel like they didn't ever really, you know, even want him. Like, I don't, you know, like, they were always like a prick to him, I thought. Or they're probably like, oh, get some more money from the state. This should have been a John Ritter and Amy Yasbeck 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that cinematography. One perfect shot. <laughs> Killer in car shots. Yeah. It looks like a huge back seat. Like, you know, <laughs> like, look how big. <laughs> like, where are they putting the camera? Uh, and I always, uh, what are you looking at back there? <laughs> this kid's a demon child. Kids already getting all spooked. Another one perfect shot. That's fucking just terrifying, though. <laughs> Shit, they should have tried to do it again with uh, Haley Joe Osman. <laughs> Late nineties. Uh, See, I wonder where this is at. I wonder where where this is California, maybe. Um, I don't know. I feel like I've we've looked up this house before. Let's see some locations on this one. Probably the only people on Earth ever visiting the Child's Play Two house, but yeah, the people that live there don't even know. <laughs> what the fuck are these guys doing? Damn. Dope house. They keep uh, David Gopalode in the basement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's inside that wooden box right there. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, that was a little reminiscent of uh, Danny from The Shining, you know? He's wearing a aircraft uh, sweater. Yeah, very Stanley Cooper. You know, Stanley Cooper probably had a, <laughs> his hand on this film somewhere. <laughs> Where are the hidden messages in this? <laughs> uh, Andy's house, Pasadena, California. Oh, there you go. It's weird. Ever since going there, like, you could just pick up on that vibe from, like, certain scenes and shit oh, like yeah. that looks like hell and then there was still uh the oh all the it says all the opening credits was still chicago illinois though oh okay okay it must have just been the factory then at the yeah the fact the factory is out in long beach okay long beach that's cool though i know i looked up that factory once on a google earth crazy shit <laughs> mutt and jeff's liquor <laughs> hmm It's definitely shot in like this weird way where like everything in the room looks bigger right. than him, you know. <laughs> that stupid fucking hat. <laughs> fucking smoking cigarettes. He thinks he's Queen Latifah or something. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> ah, what a badass bitch. Fat Q was that fucking set tape. <laughs> Shit, though, what happened to her career? Right, I used to watch. Man, I, God, I thought she was so hot. She still is. <laughs> oh, for sure. Let's see. Let's see. She's been in some shit. I know that for sure. What I can't tell you, but I know she's she's acted. Oh, Beverly Hills ER. T O, oh, a television actor. Uh, okay. So nice. <laughs> Already packing another pack. Ah, chain smoker. <laughs> that fucking gap tooth looking bitch. You see him? <laughs> it's funny shit. Toys. It's like a picture of Problem Child, The Shining. He he does have like a, a creepy vibe to him. Maybe he's fucking Chucky the whole time. <laughs> okay, what really happened is Charles Lee Ray got his body in the first movie. Yep. And he can just control the doll with his mind. This is so fucked up, by the way. Don't they have a Chucky doll in here? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Scott. There's like. <laughs> fucking douchebag. Running in the house. (laughs) 
<laughs> this is like I would not want to hear that if I was him. We've had so many kids here. God, right? That would just fuck you. Oh my god, that would fuck you up. Like that just sounds horrible. Oh, we forgot we had this doll. We've had so many kids here. <laughs> you just watch that fucking doll push his aunt or his babysitter out the window. Yeah. Oh god, I think we get rid of this douche. I gotta look up what this guy's in. Down to Earth, fuck Chris Rock movie. He's in some fucking shit. I still always wanted to get like one of those dolls that like looks like the movie. Because like you got a like hot topic and shit, they don't look like the movie at all. No. That uh I've seen ones at FYE that look pretty, you know, spot on, but I mean okay. fucking I over like a like, hundred uh, bucks. Yeah, just recently they came out with a line that actually kinda looks like the movie. Yeah, this is a pretty good one. Pretty good death. Oh, yeah. Old ass cell phone. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's right. Stops off to get some booze. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Prick. Oh, is this Mutt and Jeff's? Is this in uh, Pasadena? Yeah. All right, so we're outside of a Child's Play 2 liquor store. <laughs> right. You only see it for about five seconds, but... Yeah, we're through a rainy window. Mutt Shit, and Jeff. We could recreate that. That'd be a good picture, actually. Oh, yeah. And then just put filmies right there. Child's <laughs> <laughs> Play 2 reenactor. Put a cell phone down there. <laughs> Oh, is that the kid from Under Wraps? <laughs> the is, glass. Is I don't know. I'm just. I don't know. Is that a Looks like him, kind of. Dude, it might be. <laughs> Doesn't it look like him? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Adam Wiley, uncredited. No, <laughs> let me look this up. Matches up with the time frame. I wonder if Mutt and Jeff's is still open. It'd only be worth going if the sign was the same. <laughs> Damn, Child's Play 2, Adam Wiley, Sammy. That's him. <laughs> Fucking A, man. Good eye. <laughs> That's fucked up. Something else they did with like these, these horror movies specifically, like they shoot everything from like Chucky's level, you know? Yeah. Like the camera is like real fucking low. I really, I don't know. Maybe I'm just that's because I watched it growing up, but I really think this is like an underrated horror movie. Yeah. You know, like it's well paced, not boring at all. Like if you can just you know like you can get past that it's a doll, you know, right. but if it's it's spirits and shit, so. I mean, it's like it's just a good watch. Right. Yeah, no, like I said earlier, like people always, you know, what's the best horror sequel? This is, you know, I, agree. Mo- I mean, next like Halloween 2, hey. you know, most of the shit sucks. <laughs> so funny, he's got a fucking gun on him. <laughs> and without fucking Brad Dorff's voice, I'm telling you, these, these movies would not be oh, what yeah. they are, like. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know... It's just mem- memorable. I would like to see them maybe, you know, make one, like, real, you know, higher budget installment of this. Yeah, like, I think, you know, with... Well, this movie is, like, 92, 93, yeah. so... And all the other ones kind of pretty much suck. Right. Or just, like, rebooting. Like, fuck first and Chucky, just, like... Or, like, remake use his voice yeah and don't have him married don't have him had kids yeah because i mean after the third one it turns into a comedy series and they're yeah. fun to watch but a totally different vibe you know right 
yeah, like this shit here is still fucking. It's oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> creepy. And this one, I think, definitely took on more of the comedic tone from like you know what the first one had. But it still fucking really works. <laughs> that picture of his face? Like, was that one to get framed? <laughs> he used to have a great child's play two shirt. Sorry, Jack. Chucky's back. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't ever see anybody with Chucky shirts, actually. I would get a good uh-huh. guy's shirt. Probably in my closet somewhere. It's just not something you wear out in public. Right. What's your juggalo going to Walmart at 3 a.m.? True that, true that. Jughead. This is just some great fucking steady cam. A house kind of reminds me of a... Uh... I don't know, not really. It's kind of kind of get like a Six Feet Under vibe. Oh yeah, that's actually in a. That's something we need to go see too. Oh, the house from Six Feet Under. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be dope. Now I'm going to tell you a story about a dark Aborigine man. <laughs> <laughs> David Gopalod. If you're listening, wondering what that reference is for a great 70s film called Walkabout, check it out. Or don't. Oh, mm-hmm. Wait, so what exactly has mom's like she got to like the nut house right is that what happened yeah i think that uh you know she told him what happened like told the police because oh, no. the cop was dead right so you're fucking crazy yeah i'm i'm pretty sure that's what uh i think they think she killed you know the cop oh, yeah, and right. probably everyone right. else i'm pretty sure that's how it kind of went anyway and that's why he's with the foster parents now got it. Can't beat practical effects, man. Oh, I know. You can see the eyes move. Like, yeah, yeah. That, I swear it really fucking bothered me watching that. I know a lot of people actually like that, I think. Curse of Chucky. I mean, fuck, I only watched it one time, but yeah, the it just looks so fake. Yeah, really bothered me. And I mean, I get it. There's nothing real about a doll running around killing people, but... When it looks like a computer, it just takes something away from it. Right. Yeah, take away those puppeteer jobs. Yeah, right. guys work. <laughs> His teeth still look like shit. <laughs> yeah, I thought they fucking scraped him up. What happened? <laughs> Chuck, you need to go to the... strips. Yeah, go to the dentist, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is there's like some little comedic undertones but it's still scary oh yeah but yeah no by the time you get to the I mean the third one I still think is awful I know you said you yeah, didn't like no, it but a lot of people it's shitty I mean it's not that great but uh the one after that was with John Ritter which is Bride of Chucky and that yeah. one is like one of the great horror comedies right. I swear it just it turned into like a comedic thing yeah I can't stand the shit with his British son, like, coming <laughs> over on a train, like, or whatever it is. I don't know if I made it through fucking see the Chucky, man. It's awful. Yeah, because I own the complete, that little set, but I've thought about just getting rid of it. <laughs> and just right. getting that first one. Yeah, honestly, if they got uh, if they put out two on Screen Factory, I'd probably sell the set. Just get the first two right. collector's editions. Oh God! So you'd oh, never see this. Oh, it's smoking. You never see this shit in a movie. He smoked. I like that. <laughs> oh, 
four. She needs a fucking. <laughs> Lay it down, Andy. <laughs> See, that should have been third one. Him growing up, her, they're both on the run. Yes. Yeah, so and then there's sick. a love thing going. <laughs> and Catherine Hicks from Seventh Heaven gets out of the loony bin. Oh, they break her out, and it's Terminator 2. <laughs> Fuck yeah, great hospital escape. That's what they should do for the <laughs> fucking next one. Andy and the chick. Yeah. Like the one final showdown, like a real sequel. That would be like bad fucking ass. Oh yeah. We're writing a spec script for uh, Child's Play. Oh, this is so fucked. Here's some shit talking to him. Some good fucking cinematography, I must say. One perfect shot. Yep. How awkwardly is he leaning over that counter too? Like, <laughs> well, yeah, like is, is that comfortable? His olive green pants. <laughs> <It's> corduroys. <laughs> It's like it has a real, he has a real tongue. Yeah, a real tongue. <laughs> tongue. Oh, Andy, what happened to your career, bud? <laughs> he hasn't moved from that counter, man. <laughs> His back was hurting that day. How many more fucking takes? I think she's supposed to be a foster kid. She looks like she's fucking 25. <laughs> yeah, right? She's like the gardener. Right. She's like always doing all the bullshit. She could definitely have like her own apartment and house or a fucking job and shit. Yeah, back then when you could afford to fucking have your own shit. Yeah, live a comfortable life. Dumbass bow. She had ugly ass pants, dressed like Madonna. <laughs> Wearing Robert Smith's shoes. <laughs> oh shit! Let go. Yeah. <laughs> what year is this? Ninety two, three. Um, hold on. I think it's ninety two. This first one's like eighty eight. Yeah. Uh, oh, 1990 on this one. Okay. Shit's getting up there in age, man. Fuck. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, you're 90, baby. Yeah, so, came out when I was fucking nothing. So is it old as fuck? 26 years old. <laughs> I know it starts to get depressing when it's almost at the point where you can say, yeah, the 90s started 30 years ago. <laughs> Fuck. Damn. Oh, yours. oh, look at Alex Vincent's fucking IMDb picture. It's great. <laughs> great IMDb photo. I think that guy still does conventions and shit. Really, I wonder what he does for a living. Oh. oh this is creepy. Still wearing those stupid pants. <laughs> this is uh, her and her brother from Walking Out growing up. <laughs> Some weird shit going on in that family. 
and they start adopting kids. <laughs> it always bothers me how the girl's name's Kyle too. Like I've never, I've <laughs> never known a chick named Kyle. Yeah, never. Dominatrix. <laughs> Sock in his mouth like Proud Child too, the grandpa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the like his objective throughout all <laughs> hide the soul. Shit. Imagine Chucky is a brother. It's like the longest fucking curse ever though. It takes him so fucking long, it's like you never do it. Right. Whore. Where? <laughs> now it's her Julia Roberts 90s look. Oh. I know. What What does that look like to the parents? She's like <laughs> bent over, <laughs> tied up. She's laughing about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Phil? Oh, yeah, this gives him a great toss down the stairs. Right. <laughs> that fucking pajama shirt he's wearing. Blue dinosaur. I just toss. Oh, yeah. Fucked him up. <laughs> his fucking blood coming from his nose. Oh, that was just fucking just creeped me out, man. He starts turning human. Ugh. No. <laughs> Turn human again? <laughs> Weird ass shirts like that in the huh? 90s. A fucking stoplight in a blue car. Bugle boy shit. <laughs> he looks so fucking just disgusted. Uh, annoyed with these freaks. <laughs> now she's just like Janet Jackson. All right. Big key on her neck. <laughs> yeah, with fucking skeleton key, stupid. Looks so old for this role. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I always thought, that, I even thought that as a kid, to like, what is she supposed to be like, an aunt or something? Who is this chick? Yeah, let's see, uh... How old would she have been when this was? Look at these fucking grungies. Oh. <laughs> she was, uh. Like. Uh, she was born in 1965. Holy shit! <laughs> way, she's way too old for this. Like 26? What oh, is it? Fuck. Yeah, that's about right. That's what she looks like. Damn, old ass. Damn. <laughs> Damn. How's she looking now? Um, still fucking pretty good. She's got an alcohol face. <laughs> uh, yeah, where was the school at? The school? Is... So if you're listening, wonder why we always... Well, where's that film that We're on a filming locations mission. Yeah. Hit as, hit as many as we can. Right. Uh, it doesn't say on here, at least on IMDb, where the school is. Oh, this is great. Uh, Ugh. Keep something on there. Oh, she's... Oh, God. <laughs> Fear. You know, it's funny, like, people like this who always play, like, fucking pricks and bitches in movies, like, they're, they're probably, like, the nicest people. Oh yeah, like, no, but like, nice fuck in real life. Yeah, you see her in, you know, you see her in real life, you're gonna be like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Microchip. Yeah, what? Where'd you learn that one? Foster care? <laughs> Kyle taught him. <laughs> yeah. He just whacked. It's 
What's up with all those pink fucking folders? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on that guy? Right. <laughs> yes. It's fucking awesome. So unconvincing. I didn't do that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> There's a great oh, whenever he fucking whacks her though, she fucking uh falls over <laughs> the desk. The great I wonder who the stunt lady was on that. She did her own stunts. <laughs> fucking beat her ass with a meter stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Creepy Bitch. shit. You could lock a kid in a fucking, you know, shit. That would be a lawsuit nowadays. Oh, yeah. Be all over the fucking news. <laughs> yeah. Fire. The kid's dead. Head down. <laughs> really great music here. Let me out of here, Andy. Uh, that shirt you had's the tagline for this movie. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> Chucky's back. Yep. Yep. That's funny. That's a hot topic. <laughs> Not sure what I was thinking, but. Please let me out of here, Andy. Yes, please. Fear. Love. <laughs> I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> Whack this dumb bitch. Didn't he get her with like an air pump or something? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Great death. Just say no. Of course, that is the kind of bitch. <laughs> you wearing some shit like that. Oh, you scared now, bitch. Look at all these kids' clothes in here. I don't know what's going on with that school. <laughs> Oh my god. Look at that stunt stunt. <laughs> Only time you'll ever see an air pump death. <laughs> right. One's right up there. Fucking face. Awesome shit. I never really understood, like, would that kill you? <laughs> <laughs> he just slapped her with a fucking yardstick. Right. I don't know. Must be a strong little bastard. Few good whacks to the head, maybe. Yeah. Like, that's it. This kid's got issues. Take him back. <laughs> she said she was keeping him out of school for detention. Now she's yeah. dead. God, you really do hate this fucker in this movie. <laughs> How's it hanging, Phil? God. 
Can't believe that's chick from Walkabout. No. <laughs> Isn't that like Australian film? Yeah. I always watch this. I wonder why she had this weird ass accent. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great camera work. Creepy <laughs> pictures. Right. Yeah, what is the point of having those, huh? Oh, you literally just saw the camera in the... It was a goof. God, you can at least talk shit about him when he can't hear you. <laughs> Film his teeth? <laughs> yep. Except this kid's probably got better over time. Film he's just stayed the same. <laughs> he never made it past the stage. <laughs> Fucking Alex Vincent, 35 years old. Damn. Old little fuck. This is the end, friend. Oh, he was in a horror movie in 2013, House Guest. Hmm. Probably shitty. I think I heard something about him that he's got, like, some social thing where he hates going to those conventions. He hates people fucking talking to him and shit. Hmm. That's like, why couldn't they get that post credit scene from the curse? Like, like what could they get that in the movie? That would have been a badass ending. Yeah. Yeah, because I know the first time I watched the movie, I didn't stick around for the credits. Someone told me it yeah. was there, and I had to go back and. Oh, well, it's a mess! Like fucking like Jennifer Tilly comes back. It's like, what are they? What are they doing? Damn, Alex Vincent says he has six things in production. There you go. He's doing some work. Oh, here we go. Up with an electric knife. <laughs> nice bowl cut, Andy. <laughs> Dude, the kid would be just be better off running away. Right. Just get the fuck out of there. He's got more balls than me. I would not fucking oh, in the hell. dark. Are you kidding me? No way. Shit. I'm just waiting for it to jump out. There no lights in that basement? Right. Chucky kick the power. The fuck is he walking through? Camping gear. Some weird shit in that basement. There you go. Foreshadowing. Fire poker. <gasps> Fuck. Walk about his David Copeload. <laughs> there he is. He's in the basement. <laughs> he 
handy little prick. See, that's what you should have done. Just throw his little ass in the dryer. <laughs> Turn it <Yeah>. on. <laughs> you gonna be quick enough for that knife? What is he doing? Oh, God. stupid <laughs> ass! Just fucking with close up. Fuck, that looks a lot bigger now. All of a sudden. Add a couple inches on there. Ooh. <laughs> I swear, no way he's that strong, though. Come on. There's no body weight. <laughs> yeah, just like. Nice PJ. Why is he sitting like that? I don't know, but this is, I'm loving it. Fuck Man. this idiot. Go ahead. Go downstairs, you dummy. I know, it's like she's wearing his and he's wearing <laughs> hers or something. I'll be back 10 seconds. Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> put the All right, back just back just in time. Andy, put the electrical knife down. <laughs> he pressed the button. Ooh, <laughs> see, he's got a little evil in him. Yep. This is a great kill. <laughs> I always like honestly have a fear of that. Yeah, someone fucking tripping your ass. It looks dead already. <laughs> right. Epic. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, does she find, yeah, she says something. Like, she's been defending him the whole time. Now she just lets him have it. Oh, yeah. Oh, spook. What'd you do? Look at his face, though. <laughs> he looks like he did it. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck, you got another one. He did it. You got him. Dr. Loomis in the front yard. <laughs> oh shit yeah what's he just a neighbor like just fucking yeah. get the fuck out of here yeah, seeing what's up snoop i same thing get this kid the fuck out of here yeah man Oh, we get some lesbian action here. <laughs> Damn. Tense. <laughs> acting on both. <laughs> I saw a teardrop. She hasn't gave this kind of performance <laughs> since uh, Gulp Walkabout. <laughs> terrified of that she's like fucking charles lee ray the like female version <laughs> like i don't want to go to a fucking orphanage kyle you're fucking hot no she is man but like she she doesn't dress sexy at all but she's like fucking she's a babe yeah she's got the good face right N then don't look at her IMDb photos. Uh, I'm not even going to. It might ruin it for me. He's the only 
one that believes him. Oh, they must be in Chicago. Oh, attention to detail right there. But big Chicago badge, right? R- the camera. Right. We're shooting this in Chicago. Man, I really hope the next one they all come back. <laughs> sick. Alex Vincent, that'd be sick. Rebel, I'm a rebel yeah, body. I'm telling you, man, this shit starts to get real good, like this last fucking half hour. Oh yeah, like yeah, her character definitely gets like a lot more to fucking work with. A lot of creepy just moments in this movie, though, like, you know, tense. My uh, foster dad just got murdered, so go out for a swing. Right. Swing in a smoke. <laughs> swing in a smoke. Thank you for being funny, dude. What she realizes, she gets good. Oop! There you go. Cliche horror zoom in. Yep. Capture the suspense. Gotta love it. Of course he's not fucking there, right? Of course. <laughs> All right, bring it down a notch. Pretty good death too. Of oh, a yeah. walkabout lady. Yeah. Or at least they show it, but they just show what happened to her. Is that a tackle box? <laughs> yeah. Is that a tackle <laughs> I was like, uh, I thought she was going to pull a gun out, you know, not a hunting knife. I know where they keep the hunting knife. <laughs> That is a badass one. He fucks my up with that. All right. Yeah, I thought the death was sewing related. Yeah, right? And then you go up there and you hear the fucking machine. They definitely take their time with like a lot of these scenes, you know. Oh, good build up. Oh yeah. Joanne? <laughs> she sewed herself to death. <laughs> wearing his pajamas. <laughs> I don't think Joanne's still there. <laughs> I thought her eyes were gone or something weird like that. His fucking legs. Okay, look, yeah, finally someone that can uh, overpower him a little bit. Yeah.
fucking We're at them. Uh Oh shit, see that's creepy. Knife's up. Hey, you could just turn around and sprint out of the house. Yeah. Hopefully you can outrun a doll. Yeah. <laughs> I probably couldn't, but she I think she could. <laughs> Not with all those smokes. Yeah, that or that or those shoes. Yeah. Fucking military boots. <laughs> Some Oof. power, like you know, I would just okay, one foot. Um, okay, I'll just balance myself with the other leg. No, <laughs> he loves tripping people up, man. Oh, uh, he loves fucking making people drive places too. <laughs> There's some funny shit here where they run it like this truck driver gets out of the car. Yeah. So something like, crazy bitch. Yeah, this location that they said is in Pasadena too, actually, where she gets pulled over. <laughs> if you sh- shoot this, <laughs> if I could film these with a little knife, so we'd <laughs> floor it. Chicago again. Mm-hmm. Behave yourself. She's like, you know those dolls that pee? This one bleeds. <laughs> kind of spooky. Andy's at the foster place. Guess right. they gotta go scoop his ass. <laughs> Don't let the Chuckies bite. <laughs> What a badass with his blue dinosaur shirt. <laughs> I'm breaking out of this joint. Fucked him up. <laughs> Not enough. There were six more movies or five. Yeah. Crashing him into a fence, you know, you need something <laughs> solid. This thing, the fucker's so fucking small. Shit, Andy. Little fucking fast motherfucker. Doesn't that, that orphanage just looks like fucking prison? Yeah. Scary as fuck. Really. There's like no lighting or anything. It's definitely a tree. It seems like a jail. Yeah, look at, the, look at these kids. 
All their parents are psych went psycho. I need Junior Healy in there to light things up. <laughs> you right. Yeah, that's see, that's they should have had Michael Oliver and Chucky <laughs> versus everyone. Ah, oh, this shit is fucking great. Kyle. This lady's a bitch. Yeah, let's kill this bitch. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> Chucky says move your ass Act like you never seen a dead body before. Oh there you go Midwestern bag co Got a more Chicago Orphans on the loose <laughs> Psycho children One of them's fucking Feldman from Friday 13th. And <laughs> it's like all the kids from horror movies. Georgie. <laughs> Not sure why that truck's driving around with the back opened up. But... Yeah, it's a newspaper truck for yeah. one. They'd be uh, flying around. This is a car crashed into the fence there that no one's <laughs> even inquired about. Yeah, that's legal as fuck. <laughs> Chicago Sun Times. Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. This fucking guy. Honestly, looks like a fucking scary part of Chicago. Yeah, it does. It's like all the windshield parts are Chicago, but all the yeah. parts of her face are L.A. Probably. <laughs> this black guy. Oh, that's fucking... I love that shit. <laughs> I know. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, right. You never pull over for some crazy white lady. Hell no. It's fucking crazy bitch. <laughs> that what he said? Did you yeah, say I it? think so. Something like that. <laughs> fucking grabs her. Seriously, on some, like, rape stuff, oh. right? You know, oh. like... <laughs> Get in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're in uh, Long Beach. Yeah. Yeah. See, that could be us. Movie magic. I... Fuck. 
fucking awesome. Oh, gotta get it out of the door. Fuck ton of you guys. I don't even know if I'd want to own one for real. Yeah, a little creepy. I don't, you know. Well, I don't, you got the Michael Myers mask, but I don't know. I think yeah, Chucky. That's just, <laughs> just the mask, you know. He, he's the fucking doll that runs around. Right. Epic. Get on the ground, brother. Yeah. You're like, okay. Uh, Brother Urington, let's pause the movie. Yep. It's always my inspiration, this part. <laughs> Great special effects. <laughs> uh, subtitles is chanting in fictitious, fictitious foreign language. It's like the longest fucking voodoo chant. Ugh. Rotten ass teeth. Actually, he gets it off the time here, but it's just too late. Final shot of our short right here. <laughs> too late, Chuck. Fuck killed him. Andy. Sorry, brother. <laughs> Fucking nursery school. Isn't it this one you said the credits are like re it's uh like him being recreated or something? Yeah. yeah. Or maybe it's uh, the ending. The of, I think it's the end of this one. But it might be the King of Three. Oh, okay. I think it's the end of this one. At least like the TV cut or something. Shit, he looks smashed after the first one hit him. <laughs> oh, he's pissed. <laughs> There's no time for Are You Okay? Get the fuck out of there. You're surrounded by a fucking million Chucky dolls. So yeah, I'm surprised they never tried to do some shit like that with the movies. Like, he, or you know, Charles Lee Ray kind of gets like an army of them. Fucking army of them, yeah. And then... Get up, little shit. <laughs> yeah. Little piece of fucking shit. I got blood on my face. Do de dambala. <laughs> like, don't that... fucking look at me like that. Run your ass up there. Fucking that's filmies in Chicago. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> It'd be a lot easier if you uh, use the, you know, the grates. I don't um, know if I could get up that thing. To be honest. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Step on it. On the double. Oh. <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> that camera, that <laughs> camera angle. <sighs> That's funny. Look right at the camera. Give him a little boot. Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> it is fucking nasty when he rips his hand out of this thing. Ha, uh, he cussed. Oh, this shit is gross. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> Great special effects. Uh. He just fucking shoves the knife in there. <laughs> it's fucking pretty crazy how this factory design. Yeah. I wonder if there's that, you know, this how fucking doll factories actually are. I mean, I don't know. I would have to assume so, yeah. Right. (laughs) Oh my god, this is fucking sick. (laughs) Badass. Go oh, like home. that's what you're scared of? The fucking eye machine? Yeah, right. Shit. No. Oh. Fucking <laughs> grindhouse shit. Ugh. Bunch of naked Chucky dolls. Oh, a great security guard. <laughs> it's a gig, man. Hmm. Shit, a bald, naked Chucky doll may be creepier than <laughs> Charles E. Ray. I don't know, I just think it's something about, like, the factory. It's, like, it's got this real colorful thing going on to it. You know, it's like a right. fun house sort of looking thing. Yeah. No, and, de- and definitely adds, like, a big, a bigger scope. Right. There's, like, this, like bright colors. It's just strange looking. It creeps me out. But, I mean, not so much anymore, but it did. Right. Was that shit dripping hot plastic or something? Yeah, like, look at this thing. Like, yeah, it's, like, wax. Oh, yeah, okay, plastic. Yeah, wax. Oh, this is where the eye eye thing comes back, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Number one on our list of horror movie deaths. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor eyed idiot from Child's Play 2. This guy's got the whole line fucked up. Stupid smile on his face. Oh. <laughs> That's great, man. Yep. It's pretty good deaths in this this one. Wish we'd have got to see the the sewing machine one, but still some good ones. <laughs> Shit! This can't be practical, man. Nope. Never can. (laughs) Wicked. Like the sun was shining in his eyes. Squint.
fucking love how pissed he gets. Yep. Rage mode, man. I, wonder, I guess Brad Dorf did the voice of him in all of them. Yep. I think he yeah, even a shitty new one. Yeah. Yeah, they literally reenact shit from the first movie. Isn't that Curse of Chucky? Yeah, like, you know, at the beginning of Child's Play when he's in the toy factory? Yeah. Or the toy store, toy like, store, they, yeah. flash, they flash back to that. Oh, oh yeah, and <laughs> it's, it's a like, reenactment. Yeah, but it's like, yeah, it's nowadays. And it's just, Like it's, shit it's, that uh, wasn't shown or whatever. Right, he looks, you know, fucking 30 years older. Yeah, I remember, I feel like I remember that now. Because I have seen it, it's just been... Yeah, it's strange. Well, it's strange. Fucked him up. Really good score in this. Yeah, no, I was gonna say it always picks up with like a really good fucking piano thing. Or organ thing or something. I actually think it's the uh, beginning of the third one when they show him. Oh, uh, like coming, uh, uh, re- being recreated? Yeah, yeah, it's like they take the fucking plastic and they show him, you know, get turned into a new one. He definitely comes back though. And- in this still. Oh yeah. I don't know what the fuck happens. Oh, it's, it's epic. <laughs> I think hot plastic in one? <laughs> Act, whatever plastic what it is. I don't know what it is. I guess it'd be plastic because wax, you don't play with that. Say it again. Oh, this is the end, friend. Oh, God. I always thought that was so disgusting. This looks like like fat. <laughs> no, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, but you become perfectly laid on there. Yeah, how convenient. <laughs> She wakes up right, right. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's a point. He saved her. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, yeah, and that little ho- air hose flicking around adds, I swear, it adds a lot of oh, yeah. bullshit to this. Well, it uh, plays quite the role here coming up. Fucked him up. <laughs> You're right. This is what the facial expression was like. <laughs> Fucked him up. Not yet. <sighs> so gross. Some big little China shit, right? Right, yeah. Hmm. Oh, God. This looks like vomit. I was hungry until now. <laughs> Poke himself in the eye. What the fuck is he doing? Little Dumbo. How does he even end up in military school in the third? Yeah, I cannot remember. But he has contact with his mom or something because he has a picture of her. I swear he's like writing her. He's on the phone with her or something. You know, call me crazy, but I think this is a good fucking movie. <laughs> oh, I do too. I think it is a good fucking horror movie. Like, oh, yep. honestly, like, I think it's one of the better fucking, you know, horror movies that I watch. 
it's entertaining. Easy. Yeah, easily. And like I said a couple times, sequels. Like, you right. know, most of the sequels are ass, and this one's fucking solid. Maybe even better okay. than the original. It's never boring. Got mm. some, some comedy in there. There's Adam Wiley. Yeah, Adam Sammy. Wiley. Under rats. Good kills. I mean, shit. Look at all the Chucky puppeteers, man. Whole Damn. crew of people. One of them's actually uh, the wife of ah, whoever plays the mom. Stunt coordinator Dick Warlock. You know who that is? No. Michael Myers, too. In, or in Halloween, too. He's Michael Myers. Oh, damn. Yeah. It's crazy. Very, uh, done a lot of different uh, stuff. Well, well, yeah. I had a blast one. Fuck yeah. It's always uh, fun watching this one. If you guys made it through, put in the comment section, how's it hanging, Phil? There you go. That'll be uh, uh, that'll let us know. Do people actually do that? I never look at the comments. Yeah, no, we uh, do get those quite a bit. Yeah, so how's it hanging, Phil? Uh, hope you had a good time watching. Yep. It was fun. Um, stay tuned for more content on the Scumbags channel. Uh, let us know down below any recommendations or any commentaries you want to see. We can probably make that happen. Yep. Any closing thoughts? Mm, thanks for uh, thanks for listening. Thanks, guys. Take it easy. Appreciate you listening. And as always, fuck yourselves.